Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, on this video, I'm going to show you how you can make or use the universal providers uh, for the new MVC. Uh, we're going to use the same template or the same project as in the first video. Uh, here's my new website that I'm building. It's called mobilegeotracker.com. So to get started, what you need to do is we're going to be using the same project from previously and what you need to do is right click on preference um, go to your nugget package and search for universal universal provider and there's a few and this is the one you need the id is microsoft.aspnet.providers this one so you can go ahead and install it accept and that's it now we're gonna check the web that config file as you can see there's there were some changes done when we install that package it actually went into the web config and took out the default membership as you can see it was using the SQL membership provider and that's coming out and now it give us the the membership provider the from web providers that's the new uh, that came out so that's what we're going to be using so this is ready I think all we need to do now is to set our database oh as you can see uh, the connection string was also adjusted it's not using that it's using this catalog so we already have a default connection set so all we need to do now is run the application and register. So we're gonna go to log on. We're back here. We don't have an account, so we're gonna register. And here we're just gonna say YouTube email the that's what I'm gonna do. Password one. Password one. Register. Uh oh. The provider did not return a provider manifest token string. Okay, so we're back on the video. So in the last seconds of the video, it error out at this location saying that we were missing a token some garbage error so what i end up doing is i didn't change any code or any connections on the web config nothing at all the only thing i did was i did a clean on my project so that forces the whole project to recreate the dls so that's all right that i did I did a clean and did a debug and I went into log on register and that's all I did and then after you register and log in you go into this page it looks the same but the only change that you see is the log it's not log on now it's log off so we're gonna log off it's working now I'm gonna log in. Say we're back on, so obviously you can add some logic to it and you can see uh, pages that were, or tabs that you can hide based on authentication. So this short tutorial basically shows you how you can add the universal providers by going into your reference and 
and manage the packages, search the, for the providers, install them, and go back to your web config and you see that you have a default connections and you have different uh, for the membership, for the profile, and the, for the roles, you have different uh, sections on it. And there's more things that you can configure on the membership. You can add timeouts. I think there's already here. Enable password reset. Invalid password attempts. So there's more that you can customize how the membership works. But the whole idea was to give you a quick video on how you can add. And I'm going to go to my database here. That's the last thing I can do. And I need to know where that database was. Where's the connection says. Where to go. Default connection. Express. Let's see where that is. Show all files. Here it is. So here that that here the tables that that the, it created when I ran and register. So obviously, if you want these tables on your actual SQL, you can point the the data source to a different uh, database that you already have and a different uh, catalog and you'll be all set but this is a quick way of getting your application working thank you for watching